So now that we have all the intercooler piping pressure tested and back, I ended up welding some tabs on here for a little surprise that I'll show you guys later, and that's that piece over there that we're going to paint as well. I'm going to show you how I get this nice blue and black effect, and it's actually textured as well. So how you do this is you go to Canadian Tire or any of your local parts store and you buy some just cheap rock guard. I believe this stuff's like $9 a can. Now this will hide a lot of these imperfections like the welding, all the little pits and crap all over it, and all that fun stuff. And then you just get a nice piece of trim clad blue. I'm using blue. Actually that looks like black. I'll have to find the blue can. But it is around here somewhere. Let's just see. Yeah, that's black. I want blue. So just get the color that you want. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to basically rock guard all these pieces. All three of these pieces. And then we're going to blue them. And then we're going to rock guard at a distance. Now we did tape off the end so that the silicone connectors can get a really nice grab on the actual bare steel. So let's get the painting going. So now that we got the rock guard on, what we're going to do is we're going to let it basically harden up a bit. And then I did find the blue paint. It was actually hiding under all this right here. We're going to basically lightly shade these blue. And then we're going to come back and rock guard from a distance. It will give uh, the textured look that we're looking for. And it's going to be, uh, I think it looks good, but... When I'm doing this, I make sure I'm spraying nothing towards the truck, and I even put the cover over top of the truck. That way, none of this gets to the truck, because if this gets on the truck, you're going to have a very hard time, or any paint job. This stuff does not come off. You're going to have to use, like, gasoline or paint thinners, and then you might as well just throw your paint job on your vehicle out the fucking door. So, let's get the blue on now. So now that everything's painted blue, what we're going to do is we're going to get a brand new can of the Rock Guard, which I have right here. Make sure it's shaking up very well, and we're going to stay at a distance of about, uh, I don't know, two feet. And we're just going to lightly spray it. As you can see, the effect that we're getting is the one that we're after. Now, I'm not too concerned if we get the whole thing. I mean, like, bottom and all that. All I'm really concerned about is the side that we're going to see when we are in the truck. Like, uh, when it's in the truck looking at us. So, Okay, so that one's basically done. Maybe get a little bit darker. How about the other side here? Oh, yes. Now we get the faceplate. And now, just the final one, which is this one. So, before this video gets too, too long, do you see the effect that we're getting? That's what I'm looking for here. So now we're going to give like a good six hours for this to dry before we handle it because I do not want any fingerprints in it. And I think that looks really cool. And I'll show you what these look like installed as soon as they're dry. So, so boom. there you go. There's all the pipe installed. Plus that cool little nameplate I built today which is actually going to hold both of these pipes up. As you see I got the effect that I wanted but I'm still missing all these silicone boots because uh, they... Only got half of my order in and half my order that they did get in, all the boots were black. So I told them I don't want the black ones, I want blue ones. So there you go, down into the intercooler on both sides. I think that looks spectacular. And then we'll get a little decal to go across there that says Mazda or maybe even Zach's Workshop. Who knows? But uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. But what a big headache. But the end product is nice. So there you go. All the intercooler piping and tubing is in. It's all connected. Uh, I need to tighten up two more that are hard to get up. I'm going to wait for the wife to get home to help me. And I need two more clamps. 
but I think that looks phenomenal. Compared to the motor, that tubing looks like gold. Looks like I have to do something to dress up this motor now. So maybe just dump a gallon of five gallon paint on it. A bucket of five gallon paint on it. 